Welcome. In this video, I wanted to take a look at some temperature tracking I've been doing on my HVAC system. And specifically, I wanted to compare using a gas furnace with a heat pump. So real quick, I'm using some temperature probes hooked into a Raspberry Pi computer and the software is called Temperature Machine and I'll put a link below in the description to a video I did on setting this up on a water heater. I really like this system except for a couple things. It doesn't support Fahrenheit and in the US we use Fahrenheit for certain things like house temperatures and things like that. And the other is that these temperature sensors fail every once in a while so the Raspberry Pi will quit reading the temperature probes and you have to restart the whole Raspberry Pi. You can't restart it actually, you have to kill power to it and then turn it back on. But otherwise I like it for the most part. So I have two temperature probes. One's on the intake to the furnace and the other is on the output. And this is a Dave Lennox signature series. The furnace is an SLP 98V. So it's actually 97% efficient furnace. And then the heat pump is a, I think it's an XR21 is the model. And it's a two stage heat pump. So what I have here is a chart of the last 24 hours. And you can see the big divide here. On the left, it was using the natural gas. And on the right, it was using the heat pump. So the red bar here is the intake and the blue is the output which I know it doesn't make sense because the blue you'd think would be cold would be the intake, but I don't have a way to change the numbers on here. I'd have to actually move the temperature probes. So the thing that really kind of surprised me is that the temperature delta of the output is smaller with the heat pump and it's incredibly consistent. As you see here, the top of this line and the bottom are very straight. And on the regular furnace, it's not quite so much. Although I've seen it on the regular furnace where it is. And this is a variable furnace too. It goes from 35% to 100% in one degree increments. So it can adjust its output pretty accurately. But you can see the temperature here also on the heat pump dips a lot on the input side. So it goes down quite a bit lower here. I measured this in Fahrenheit and it was around 68 to 70 on the blue here. And this one got up to, let's see, that's 24. That's at about 76 there on the output. So my thermostat's set to 70. So the temperature coming out of the heat pump more accurately reflects my thermostat. Whereas with the regular furnace, it gets a little bit hotter than that. And I do have another chart from yesterday I took a picture of it. I can't um, mouse over this to get the actual temperatures, but this is where you see more of the furnace on the left side and more of the heat pump on the right. So you can see it's pretty consistent down here, not quite as consistent as the heat pump, but you can see there's a larger delta here of the output and stuff. So the air coming out of the furnace is quite a bit hotter for the furnace than it is for the heat pump. So I'll go back to here. We have about you know, 23, 24 degrees there and about 22 degrees there. So I tend to prefer the furnace in the winter time. I mean, you can go stand in front of it and warm your feet up, things like that. <laughs> but as far as consistency of temperature, I was surprised to see that this heat pump is actually more consistent. And I guess I could mention that the temperature outside was in the 30s. Uh, I think right now it's around 36, 37. So as you're seeing these temperatures here, and these are going to fall later today. So I thought this was kind of an interesting thing to look at. I don't know exactly how to interpret all of it. If you do, you can drop a comment below and tell me what you think of it. But that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.